Okay. I want to make a video uh, about what causes this air buildup in your air system. And that's pretty much easy to say. It's a, um, it's when you don't uh, burp your system correctly. And the way you can tell that uh, your system isn't burped correctly or you have air built up in your system is that if you look at some of the different hoses coming off your engine, like right here, for example, see if you see a bulge right there or anything like that, you can tell that you have like uh, air in your system or any kind of bubbles that's, that's coming from the hose right there. That is when you can tell that you have air buildup in your system. Okay. And uh, if you have like a crack in your reservoir, like I have here, that can also get air in your system and cause a uh, buildup or cause your hoses to budge and cause a uh, bubbling at some of the um, hose attachments where the hose attaches to. So, um, if your system is not purged right or burp right, I would just assume the best thing to do would be to go and uh, redo it and make sure you get all the bubbles out. And uh, the best way I know to do is to, um, when you put your antifreeze back in your reservoir, keep the cap open and then go around and start um, um, burping the system. What I mean by that is, see what the hose is right here? You keep pressing it right here. So by doing that, you hear that from the reservoir right there? That's me pressing on the hose right here and it's causing the reservoir to make that noise. I see it coming up through the system. So if you do that and keep doing it for about 15, 10 or 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, uh, just make sure that you have all the air out of your system and you won't have any kind of uh, buildup in, uh, in your system like that. So, I would definitely do that. Okay, what I want to do is make a quick comparison between the two right here. Okay, this is my old tank right here. I'll give you a closer look right here. This is where it was leaking. And you see right there where the fluid is, right to the left, right there, I have a little crack right there. A little hairline crack. That is where it was starting to crack. That will also let air get into your, your, your system. And uh, it will cause bubbling at the, where the, the hoses go on and also where the, it'll bulge the, the hoses. The, the hoses will start bulging if you get, start getting air in your system. Okay, actually I got two of these cracks. Here's one on this side. And I actually had to pull this off in order to show you this one. Okay, here's the second one on the side that was hidden. You see it's starting to leak uh, somewhere down at the left. I guess it's starting to leak right here at the, on the side right here. But um, those two were very small leaks. And it's a good thing I caught it before it got worse. And... Uh, and cracked on me when I'm like away from home or something like that. But um, I got my new tank on here and I done checked it out. I don't have any kind of uh, holes, I mean any kind of cracks or any kind of leaks at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this aside next to my antifreeze right here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with a uh, new antifreeze.